What's up guys, it's your FAE manager from Toefly Tech and today I'll be running you through the methods in which you can open the Solaga X100. So basically we have five ways and I'm going to run you through each one of them step by step. And going straight into it, the first one we are going to use is using the RFID. And when you swipe this card over here, you see the light coming on. The next thing is you want to remove the rope from the device and we normally use the left part here you should see the unlocking icon just on top of it we don't use the other side because you might want to use a lot of force and we don't want both of them uh, coming out at the same time so let's go into it and once i remove you see that the light goes off and if i'm locking it i plug it in you see the flashing lights that's just to show you that the device has been locked successfully. In rare cases, just in case you did not insert this rope correctly, let's say you have left some space like that. So you see, the lights are solid just to tell you that this device did not lock successfully. So you might wanna put it in correctly and the lights should go off. The second way you want to open the SolarGuard X100 is through our BLE app. And you can also develop your own app because we'll provide you with protocol. Let's get into it. Our app looks like this. That is the first one there. And you will open it. And on top here, you're going to click on the search bar so that you can scan the device. And I'm doing that. And after it is scanned successfully, you should be able to see this page. And what you want to do is directly just click the unlock. It's going to require a password. And in this case, our default password is 654321, which is customizable. You can click, you can put in your own desired password. When I click confirm, on our app here, it's showing that the device has been unlocked. And on the device you should be able to see a solid light what we want to do is open it on the left as i said and when you put it back in the status on my app here also changes that it's locked how to unlock remotely normally it's in sleep mode without internet connection for battery saving so it needs to wake up to take unlocking commands remotely via network or sms so there are three ways to wake up the device. You can either wake it up via the BLE app, or you can wake it up via the wake up key, which you can have multiple of them, but they have ID on them just so you can know who woke up the device. And lastly, you can also wake it up via shaking the device. Now the third way to open the Solaga X100 is via the GNS tracking app via network. Now, the first thing you want to do is first wake up the device so that it can be able to take commands from the server. And this is our app, but you can also have the same feature on your app. What I want to do is click on the unlock. There's a yes or no prompt. Click on the yes, and you wait for a few seconds. The device is open. I will open it and then lock it. First of all, let me show you. When it's open, it should be able to show on the platform that the device is open. Then when I put back the cable, you wait a few seconds, on the app, it also shows that it's locked. Next up is how to open it using your tracking platform. And you can add this feature to your own tracking platform on your web interface. I'm gonna wake up the device. Yeah, and since it's up, this is basically us sending an unlock command to the server and then the server to the device so that it can wake up just at the back end. I'm gonna click the unlock key here. Yes, the request has been sent and the device is unlocked successfully. And finally, we're gonna unlock the device using the SMS command. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your device is in wake up mode once it's up yeah what i want is to send the unlock code 
And once I've sent, I'm waiting for a reply, just like that. As you can hear, the device has been opened successfully. I've received a confirmation message that is saying, unlock OK, please unplug the lock rope. And that's it about the SMS.